students who get these credit cards will be required to sign an affidavit swearing they will only use them for food or baby supply. This is not going to get better. We let, we put buses there to, for cooling systems, uh, but it's just not sustainable. These perpetrators are part of a sophisticated criminal enterprise made up of my, migrants. Identify all those responsible and will hold them accountable for their specific roles. Controversy Surrounding NYC Program The decision by New York City to provide prepaid credit cards to migrants living in the U.S. illegally has sparked controversy and debate. The city's pilot programs aim to offer assistance to migrant families by providing them with prepaid debit cards, specifically for purchasing food and baby supplies. However, this initiative has faced criticism from various quarters, with concerns raised about its cost, effectiveness, and potential implications. One of the primary arguments against the program is its financial burden on taxpayers. Critics argue that the allocation of $53 million for prepaid credit cards for migrants is unjustifiable, especially considering the strain it places on the city's resources. Additionally, there are concerns that such initiatives could incentivize further migration to New York City, leading to increased financial obligations for taxpayers in the long run. Furthermore, there are questions about the efficiency and necessity of the program. While proponents argued that providing prepaid cards is a more cost-effective solution compared to distributing food boxes, skeptics question whether it is the most efficient use of funds. These perpetrators are part of a sophisticated criminal enterprise made up of my migrants. I'm not going to be thankful that a program that was bloated and inefficient is somehow uh, cheaper to just give away free money to people. Some argue that the funds could be better allocated to address underlying issues contributing to the migrant crisis, such as improving border security or investing in long-term solutions for migrant integration. Criticism of the program also extends to its perceived fairness and impact on local communities. Some argue that providing financial assistance to migrants living in the U.S. illegally could create disparities between them and taxpayers who may not have access to similar benefits. Concerns have been raised about the potential strain on essential services such as police, fire, sanitation, and corrections department as resources are redirected to accommodate the needs of migrants. Moreover, there are broader questions about the messaging and implications of such programs. The decision to provide prepaid credit cards to migrants living in the U.S. illegally raises questions about the city's stance on immigration policy and its approach to addressing the needs of vulnerable populations. Critics argue that such initiatives could perpetuate a cycle of dependency and incentivize illegal immigration rather than addressing the root causes of migration. The response from New York City officials has been mixed, with proponents of the program highlighting its potential benefits in providing essential support to migrant families. The mayor's office has emphasized the program's cost-effectiveness and its ability to provide families with access to fresh food and necessary supplies. However, critics remain skeptical about the long-term implications and effectiveness of the initiative, calling for a re-evaluation of priorities and a focus on addressing underlying issues contributing to the migrant crisis. New York's Migrant Assistance The pilot program initiated by New York City to provide prepaid debit cards to migrants living in the U.S. without legal status has sparked controversy and raised concerns about its impact on the city's budget immigration policies, and public perception. With an estimated cost of $53 million, the program aims to offer financial assistance to migrant families by providing them with resources to purchase food and baby supplies. However, the implementation of this program has ignited a heated debate over immigration, fiscal responsibility, and the role of government in assisting vulnerable populations. At the heart of the controversy lies the unprecedented influx of migrants into New York City, with more than 173,000 migrants and asylum seekers arriving since the spring of 2022. This surge has placed immense strain on local resources, prompting city officials to seek innovative solutions to address the growing humanitarian crisis. The prepaid debit card program represents one such initiative, intended to provide essential support to migrant families while alleviating the burden on existing aid programs and services. 
Under the program, participating families will receive prepaid debit cards loaded with funds designated for purchasing food and baby supplies. The amount loaded onto the cards will vary depending on the size of the family, with each person receiving an average of $12.52 per day for 28 days. To ensure compliance with program guidelines, participants will be required to sign an affidavit affirming that they will only use the cards for authorized expenses. Violations of these terms could result in expulsion from the program, underscoring the city's commitment to accountability and responsible stewardship of taxpayers' funds. Despite the stated objectives of the program, it has faced intense scrutiny and criticism from various quarters. Critics argue that providing financial assistance to migrants living in the U.S. illegally sets a dangerous precedent and incentivizes further illegal immigration. It may be the most reprehensible thing that I've seen take place over the past 48 hours. This is not going to get better. We, let, we put buses there to, for cooling systems, uh, but it's just not sustainable. And on top of that, they don't have kitchens, so how are they going to purchase the food that they want? They contend that the program represents a misuse of taxpayers' dollars and undermines the efforts to enforce immigration laws and secure the nation's borders. Additionally, concerns have been raised about the potential strain on local resources and public services, as well as the perceived unfairness of providing benefits to non-citizens while many American citizens struggle to make ends meet. The controversy surrounding the prepaid debit card program has been fueled by misinformation and inflammatory rhetoric circulating on social media platforms. False claims about the type of aid provided to participants have contributed to widespread confusion and misconceptions about the program's purpose and objectives. Despite efforts to clarify the program's parameters and address misinformation, critics continue to voice their opposition, citing concerns about its potential impact on immigration policy and public safety. In response to criticism, city officials have defended the program as a necessary and compassionate response to a humanitarian crisis. Mayor Eric Adams has emphasized the importance of providing assistance to vulnerable populations, arguing that it is both a moral imperative and a practical necessity. He has underscored the economic benefits of the program, highlighting its potential to stimulate local businesses and boost economic activity in immigrant communities. However, the controversy surrounding the prepaid debit card program underscores broader challenges facing cities grappling with immigration issues. The complex interplay of federal, state, and local policies, coupled with the moral and ethical considerations inherent in addressing humanitarian crises, complicate efforts to find effective and equitable solutions. As New York City grapples with the ongoing migrant surge and its implications, the prepaid debit card program serves as a focal point for broader debates about immigration, social welfare, and the role of government in serving vulnerable populations. Undocumented Crime Concerns Tracking crime committed by undocumented individuals possess unique challenges for law enforcement agencies. Due to their immigration status, undocumented individuals may be hesitant to interact with police or report crimes, fearing deportation or other consequences. Additionally, police departments may not systemically collect data on the immigration status of individuals involved in criminal activities, making it difficult to accurately assess the extent of crime committed by undocumented residents. However, recent incidents, such as the attack on police officers, highlight concerns about public safety and the potential connection to residents of migrant shelters. According to arrest records, individuals living at 30 out of the city's 200 migrant shelters have been arrested over 1,200 times in the past year alone. These arrests span a range of offenses, including petty larceny, assault, grand larceny, endangering the welfare of a child, and robbery. Critics argue that these incidents underscore the consequences of city and federal policies, particularly those implemented by Democratic lawmakers regarding migrant influxes. They contend that such policies have led to unforeseen challenges for local communities, including increased crime rates and strained resources. Additionally, some taxpayers express frustration over the financial burden of providing support and services to undocumented individuals, including housing and luxury hotels, legal assistance, and laundry services. 
public opinion reflects growing concerns about the recent surge in migrants, with over 80% of New Yorkers viewing it as a serious problem. Initially, sanctuary cities welcomed migrants with various amenities, but as time passed, the strain on resources and the emergence of social issues have led to a shift in sentiment. Residents now perceive migrants as causing trouble in their communities, prompting calls for stricter immigration policies and border control measures. The financial implications of accommodating undocumented individuals are significant, with millions of dollars allocated to programs aimed at supporting migrants. Identify all those responsible and will hold them accountable for their specific roles. People who are open-minded to what they call migrants coming in have understood now it's costing us. Those who get these credit cards will be required to sign an affidavit swearing they will only use them for food or baby supply. For instance, New York City has earmarked $53 million for the prepaid debit card pilot program, which aims to provide essential items like food and baby supplies to eligible participants. The cards are not credit cards, but rather prepaid debit cards with restrictions on their use, limited to designated retailers and specific purposes. Participants in the program must sign an affidavit affirming their intended use of the cards, and any deviation from the prescribed usage may result in removal from the program. The city's partnership with Mobility Capital Finance aims to implement the program efficiently and effectively, with plans for potential expansion if deemed successful. Despite the program's intentions to address immediate needs and potentially save costs in the long run, critics remain skeptical about its efficacy and broader implications. Some argue that the focus should be on enforcing existing immigration laws and securing the border to prevent illegal entry into the country. They emphasize the importance of controlling immigration levels and ensuring that resources are allocated judiciously to address the needs of both citizens and lawful residents. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.